and Cody have the last attack. Well. Uh oh, face to. This is supposed to be a battle between gods, yet you choose to hide behind a mortal. And now, you're acting like you'd sacrifice yourself for a human. Are you having fun proving a false sense of heroism to yourself, Boor? Oh no! You've tried to take my gnosis from me? Huh? Wait, what? We just concluded the 168th loop. Huh? Say what? Did you know that in the effort to create you? The people of Sumeru were forced to live through the exact same number of Subzerus festivals and Samsara cycles. The power of dreams. When did you use it on me? <laughs> you can't even defeat me in a dream. What do you hope to achieve with this little trick? Huh? Come, traveler. Just like before. Allow me to awaken the memories in your dreams. <gasps> All that battle experience! It's more than that. Compile everyone's wisdom in the name of the Archon. That is the original function of the Akasha. I've sent everything that happened just now to the people of Sumeru in the form of knowledge. I've asked them... ...to help you find a way to defeat the false god. Wow, everyone is gonna help. Now... 
legendary's wisdom is at your disposal. <laughs> Meaningless tricks won't save you. Are you done with your tricks? Can I finally take this as a real battle between gods? I'll leave this to you. The first sage. A boar. Man, that was epic. A thousand eons, mine to dominate. Burn to oblivion! Illusion shattered! Kneel! Solidify! I will have order! Wait, this is... Wait, this thing is shooting? Are you kidding me? This become Nihat Tamata. Tremble! Stabilize! Reality is pain! Solidify! This is what I was supposed to do. Good riddance, cruel world. Solidify. Shine down. Make yourself a hoo. Illusion shattered. Stabilize. This is order. Share my knowledge. Just like we rehearsed. Let's dance. Torn to oblivion. Humans, filthy humans. No! 
Wait! Please! Anything but the gnosis! That's mine! Don't even try! I'll never! I'll never go back! He's dead. We haven't yet found the answer to the most important mystery. Ermansoul is still waiting to be saved. With the power of another Gnosis, we may now finally understand the last memory of Greater Lord Rukadavata. That's right. This is the last memory of my predecessor. Wait, what was that song? But man, how in the world you expect me to see him playable now? Consider that he's dead. Like, really dead now. Where are we? very different from what Paimon imagined. Shouldn't Ermansoul be in this realm of consciousness? Yes, that is our destination. But I didn't expect the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Rukadavata to be as polluted as this. Forbidden knowledge? <sighs> It seems you know about a concept that even I don't completely understand. Could you tell me what you know? Hmm, your inference seems logical enough. Forbidden knowledge once polluted the desert thousands of years ago, but was successfully repelled thanks to King Deshret's self-sacrifice and Greater Lord Rukadavata nearly exhausting her power. Then, a second instance of forbidden knowledge pollution occurred during the Conria Cataclysm 500 years ago. But I'm afraid it is much more serious this time, with Ermansoul itself already in danger. So, if we're in the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Rukadavata, and it's also been affected by forbidden knowledge pollution, then does that mean, in order to save us, Greater Lord Rukadavata? Yes. It's very possible that she sacrificed her life in the fight against forbidden knowledge. She didn't completely eradicate forbidden knowledge, but if it weren't for her actions, the pollution would have been far more rampant over these past 500 years. The way that everyone, including me, has forgotten everything about forbidden knowledge may very well be due to her restoration of Ermansoul. <laughs> Do you feel sad, Nahida? I'm just... Uh, sharing her pain. The pollution of her consciousness here is severe. There is madness, chaos, and pain all around us. Did she fight to resist the forbidden knowledge pollution in such terrible conditions? All the way up to her last breath? She even used her last remnant of lucid consciousness to leave a clue for us to follow. The one where the world forgive me, but I think this is the idea because she has the last. It's kind of I want to remember. Uh, never mind. I guess I'm gonna remember after. But in order to save the world, we have to forget Luca Devata. Yes, her words were distorted by forbidden knowledge, so that's all we could hear. But now. We have a chance to find the answer to this mystery. We can cross the polluted consciousness until we found the right path to meet with her lucid consciousness. And then, we'll let Greater Lord Rukadabata tell us the truth in person. Each of us need to be mindful of the state of our own consciousness while we are here. 
Even with the Gnosis's protection, we must always keep a clear mind. Otherwise, we could go mad at any moment. <sighs> That's so scary. Don't worry. It should be easy enough for you to keep that mind of yours clear, Paimon. Let's go. Are we in the air? And why is there a huge boat? That's the boat of consciousness, which symbolizes reason here. Its course is the direction our consciousness is traveling towards. If we lose control over our consciousness... Wow! What are these? The monsters seem to have been affected by them! Judging from the current route, the boat of consciousness will soon take us out of here. We'll be arriving at our destination soon. How are you feeling? Are your minds still intact? Huh? But everything's been completely normal for Paimon! Hopefully there won't be any more interruptions. This time, we should be able to meet Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Are you saying you've never met Greater Lord Ruka Devata before? No, it seems that my birth and her death took place at the same time. Otherwise, I think she would have given me a little more guidance, and I could have done a better job. Hey, you've done a great job, Nahida! Let's get out of this creepy place and go meet her! Well, this is the place. I... We're here to find Greater Lord Ruka Devata, right? But... The one standing over there is... Is that... Me? She looks exactly... Like me. Are you... Greater Lord Ruka Devata? Yes, that's me. Are you surprised by my appearance? Huh. So they are, make her a little blue. Ermin's soul and the surrounding lands have been reproduced here as they were years ago. 
but this is just a realm of consciousness. We are manifestations of the same nature. Hence why we would appear exactly the same. We're... of the same nature? Why? Because you are me, and I am you. You are me in the new samsara. The new samsara? As Greater Lord Rukadevata, I'm the avatar of Ermansoul. And you are the purest branch snapped from Ermansoul. Imagine it this way. Even if a tree dies, its branches will eventually take root and grow, continuing the tree's life in another form. I'm merely the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Rukadevata. The real me has presumably died a long time ago. So you're just a backup copy. Hmm. Judging from your appearance, I've probably been dead for 500 years. But you're finally here. My new self in the samsara. If this is true, then am I... going to be a great archon like you someday? Though we share the same nature, our fates are bound to be different. All things have their own fate. When a branch grows into a mature tree, it won't be the same as the original tree. That's why fate is the ultimate knowledge, isn't it? That's a great insight. Yes, very good. It's also precisely why you won't become like me. <sighs> really? But perhaps you may become an even greater Archon than I. I already see a determination in you that I didn't possess in my time. And the future that it leads you to will be yours alone. Along with the blessings from your past experiences. Don't worry. The growth of wisdom is like that of a plant. You only need to wait quietly for the flower to bloom. Come to think of it, the sages never had the faintest inkling of the meaning of wisdom. Thank you. Nothing makes me happier than discovering that the Archon I always admired was, in fact, myself in another fate. It's so nice to speak with you, Greater Lord Rukadevata. I've always wanted to meet you. The feeling is mutual. From the moment I snapped the branch off Ermansoul and created you, I've also looked forward to talking with you. Could you tell me why you wanted to create me? And what exactly happened when you died? Ah, uh, I see. You're here seeking answers, right? Everything that day, even the sky itself, changed into a color like this. Um, purple? At that time, the Seven were all summoned to the nation of Conria. Except for me. I had a more important task to attend to. Oh boy, John Lee, Venti, and Beto... Gun Why did I say... I don't know why, but I keep confusing Be Beto with the wall. They're gonna have some questions to do. I had to protect Ermin's soul. The disaster occurred together with the pollution of forbidden knowledge. At that very moment, with my consciousness connected to Ermansoul, I sensed something was wrong. The pain started to torment my mind. By the time I reached Ermansoul, it was already displaying signs of corruption. Had I not repelled the pollution of forbidden knowledge with King Deshret, Thousands of years ago, I might have felt even more hopeless and lost. So what exactly is forbidden knowledge?
It's a kind of knowledge that doesn't belong to this world. And a form of truth that can't be understood. Okay, guys, I'm gonna uh, really be ready to if this is gonna be some kind of reality simulation to say like this is all a game. I hope that they're not gonna do something like that because I don't really see this as this is a fantasy setting, not the uh, metaverse, something like that. It came from the very bottom of the abyss. Even I could never understand it. The world is constantly rejecting it, leading to all kinds of bad phenomena. If we allow forbidden knowledge to pollute Ermin's soul, I'm afraid the entirety of Tevat could fall apart. So, there's knowledge that even the God of Wisdom can't understand? At that time, I knew I couldn't repel the forbidden knowledge with my strength alone. Which is why I created a device that compiled human wisdom and named it the Akasha. It's truly the world's most amazing invention. <laughs> Thank you. For a long time, I thought dreams were the fruit of human wisdom. Though it was selfish to do so, I borrowed people's dreams using the Akasha. Then I compiled their wisdom and all of my own power. Well, did it work? Thanks to the wisdom of the people of Sumeru, almost all the forbidden knowledge was cleared from Ermansul. But... things didn't go as smoothly as I thought. I had a terrible headache, which gave me an uneasy feeling. And then... I remembered that my consciousness was also connected with Ermansul. It brought me knowledge and wisdom, but vile corruption as well. From the very beginning, my existence had been polluted by the forbidden knowledge. Oh no! How could that happen? I've experienced that pain in your consciousness. It must have been a horrible experience. Yes, but my feelings weren't important. The important thing was that... Even if I died, my existence and everything related to me would continue to exist in Ermansoul as memories and knowledge. Meaning that the forbidden knowledge couldn't ever be permanently eradicated. And there's no way for me to eliminate myself. It would be a sort of paradox. So, I took the purest branch of Ermansoul as my incarnation in the next samsara and left a trail of clues. All in hopes that you would come here and remove me and my pollution from Ermansoul forever. Say what? Okay, what to say that Nahida is a tree? But now we have to remove the main call? Man, this is gonna be tough on her. Wait, no, I can't. <laughs> so you realize what that implies? You are very smart indeed. Ermin's soul has all the knowledge and memories of this world. And as you've realized just now, removing me from Ermin's soul means I essentially will never have existed in this world. But this is the only way to save Ermin's soul. People love you so much and, and they've missed you so much over the past 500 years. I... I am exactly the same. So how... How can we just... Forget you like this? Is there really no other way? There must be something else I can do. You're the god of wisdom, Boor. You should know that there is no other way. But this... This is so... Cruel. I don't want to forget you. No need to feel so sad, Boor. As someone who delights in wisdom, you should feel joy at finally finding the answer. Yeah, but I uh, 
at what cost. And however, next year you better do the best event for Sumer for her. You hear me? These are the words in their entirety. The answer you've been seeking all along. Let the world completely forget me. We all nestle under the great tree of wisdom, peering out to perceive the world. From the earth and from the rain, we perceive its wonders, until we become a white bird to perch atop a branch, and finally snap off the most important leaf. Once upon a time, I alone dreamed in this world. In my dreams, everybody would also dream after they fell asleep. Wild and wonderful thoughts would emerge from their minds. Some tumbled to the ground, and others floated to the sky. Connecting all things in the world into one dazzling net. Among a plethora of worlds, were numerous smaller worlds, all of fate, finding within the tapestry their brilliant glow. I gradually understood that these indescribable and constantly changing things are the most profound things in the world. Only they can completely repel the madness. Only dreams can awaken consciousness from the deepest darkness. who posed this question, yet also the one who sought a solution. Saving the world with the dreams of the people used to be my answer. And now, you've also found your own answer, and I shall return all the dreams to the people. Sumeru, may you be blessed tonight with the sweetest of dreams. <laughs>